The Nanyang Technological University (NTU) is an autonomous research university in Singapore. It was ranked the fastest rising young university globally by Times Higher Education and is known for its eco-friendly and smart technology garden campus, which was named as one of the most beautiful school campuses in the world. The university has over 33,000 students organized into 8 colleges and schools. They are the College of Engineering, College of Science, College of Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences, Nanyang Business School, and the Li Kong Qian School of Medicine, which was set up jointly with the Imperial College London. NTU is also home to several autonomous institutions including the National Institute of Education, S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies, Interdisciplinary Graduate School, Earth Observatory of Singapore, Singapore Centre on Environmental Life Sciences Engineering, Institute on Asian Consumer Insight, and the College of Professional and Continuing Education. NTU's strongest faculties are in engineering and business. The NTU College of Engineering was ranked second and fourth in the world by both the Academic Ranking of World Universities and QS World University Rankings respectively, and first in Singapore. NTU's Nanyang Business School is Singapore's top business school, having emerged 24th globally first in, Singapore in the Financial Times ranking and first in Singapore for 13 consecutive years in the Economist rankings. The university's main campus covers 200 hectares 490 acres of land, making it the largest university campus in Singapore. The primary campus grounds are located in the western part of Singapore, along 50 Nanyang Avenue. It also has two other campuses in Navina and at 1 North. History Nanyang University 1950 In 1955, prior to Singapore's independence from the British, Nanyang University was established south of the current Nanyang Technological University campus, with the centre of the present Yunnan Garden as its heart. Its administration building currently houses the Chinese Heritage Center, a national monument. Topic: <laughs> Nanyang Technological Institute 1981 to 1991. In 1980, Nanyang University merged with the University of Singapore to form the current National University of Singapore. In complement, Nanyang Technological Institute (NTI), a tertiary institution affiliated to the National University of Singapore, was formed to take over Nanyang University's campus in 1981. Nanyang Technological Institute (NTI) was set up on the 1st of August 1981 with a charter to train three quarters of Singapore's engineers. When NTI started in 1982, it had a total student population of 582 in three engineering disciplines, civil and structural, electrical and electronic, and mechanical and production engineering. By 1990, the institute's undergraduate student population had grown to 6,832. The first two graduate students were admitted in 1986. Three engineering schools were added, and the School of Accountancy from the National University of Singapore was transferred to NTI in 1987. A school of applied science was also started. 
In 1990, the government announced that the Institute of Education would be merged with the College of Physical Education to form the National Institute of Education and that it would be part of the new NTU upon its establishment in 1991. Topic: <laughs> Present form In 1991, NTI merged with the National Institute of Education founded in 1950 to form the Nanyang Technological University The alumni roles of the former Nanyang University were transferred to NTU in 1996. Historically, Nanyang Technological University admitted students jointly with the affiliated National University of Singapore and charged the same fees. Students made only one application and they would be accepted by either university. This arrangement ended in 2004 as both universities began to distinguish themselves with an end of its official affiliation. Currently, students apply separately to both universities. NTU became autonomous in 2006 and stands as one of the two largest public universities in Singapore today. Topic: <coughs> Campuses. <coughs> 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 Topic Yunnan Garden Campus The main campus of Nanyang Technological University is the 200 hectare 2 square kilometers, 0 0.77 square miles Yunnan Garden Campus which is situated adjacent to the town of Jurong West. It is the largest university campus on the island of Singapore, housing Singapore's largest on-campus residence infrastructure including 24 halls of residence for undergraduates and two graduate halls. The campus grounds were originally donated by the Singapore Hokkien Association to Nanyang University. In 1981, the Nanyang University grounds were granted to the Nanyang Technological Institute, a newly formed English medium engineering college. With the formation of the NTU through NTI's merger with the National Institute of Education the grounds were then presented to the university. The former Nanyang University Administration Building was restored into the Chinese Heritage Center and was gazetted as a national monument in 1998 now overlooking the Yunnan Garden. The Nanyang University Memorial and original Nanyang University Arch were also declared National Monuments of Singapore in 1998. The NTU Art and Heritage Museum is an approved public museum under the National Heritage Board's approved museum scheme. Benefactors who donate artworks and artifacts to NTU enjoy double tax deductions. There is a small lake between the Chinese Heritage Center and Hall of Residence 4 called Nanyang Lake. Only members of NTU Anglers Club permit holder, the fishing club at NTU, are allowed to fish in this lake. The campus also served as the Youth Olympic Village for the inaugural Youth Olympic Games in 2010. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Navina Campus. A third campus, Navina Campus, is situated close to LKC Medicine's partner teaching hospital, Tan Tok Seng Hospital in downtown Navina for medical teaching and research at the Lee Kong Chian School of Medicine. The new 20-story Clinical Sciences Building was completed in 2016. The CSB is home to LKC Medicine researchers, with the laboratories interconnected through collaborative spaces. Undergraduate halls 
NTU has 24 halls of residence for undergraduates, each with a capacity of between 500 and 659 residents. They accommodate 14,000 local and international students, with every freshman guaranteed a hostel room. All halls are co-ed by floor or wing and offer single and double occupancy rooms. Double rooms are shared by residents of the same gender. Every hall has communal facilities like lounges, air-conditioned reading rooms, pantries and laundry rooms with washing machines and dryers. Presently, freshman students will be guaranteed a room for two years. Topic colleges, schools and institutes NTU is organized into several colleges and schools, each corresponding to different fields of study. The founding colleges include the College of Engineering, College of Business Nanyang Business School, We Kim We School of Communication and Information, and the National Institute of Education, which have been part of NTU since its inception in 1991. More recently, NTU has established additional schools for the Biological Sciences 2001, Humanities and Social Sciences HSS 2004, Physical and Mathematical Sciences 2005, and Art, Design and Media 2009. In 2013, NTU and Imperial College London jointly established a new medical school, the Lee Kong Chian School of Medicine, which is based in the Novena campus along 11 Mandalay Road. In October 2016, the university announced that HSS would be expanded into two separate schools, namely the School of Humanities and the School of Social Sciences. NTU also hosts a number of autonomous institutes, the National Institute of Education, the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies, and two recently established research institutes. Topic Nanyang Business School Nanyang Business School NBS is the largest business school in Singapore with over 6,800 undergraduates and postgraduates. It is also the number one business school in Singapore and third in the Asia-Pacific region according to the Financial Times. For 13 consecutive years since 2004, the Nanyang MBA has been ranked the best in Singapore according to The Economist. NBS has more than 160 professors from more than 20 countries, proficient in 30 languages holding doctorates from the most renowned universities in the world. This makes NBS one of the largest business schools in the world in terms of faculty strength. NBS is the only business school in Singapore to offer the three year direct honours single degree program in business or accountancy. Its widely popular double degree program in accountancy and business can be completed within 3.5 to 4 years, and the newly introduced integrated bachelor and master's program takes 4 years to complete. Students enrolled into the business program are allowed to specialize in their penultimate year of study in one of six areas, namely, actuarial science, banking and finance, business analytics, human resource consulting, marketing, risk management and insurance. Those who choose to major in banking and finance have the added option to choose one of three specialized tracks which include platform-based learning and international trading. NBS also houses the 165 square meter center for applied financial education, the largest finance lab in Singapore. The new lab is equipped with 60 dedicated Thomson Reuters Icon terminals with data stream, along with 24 Bloomberg terminals that will allow business school students to access all kinds of real-time financial, economic and business news information. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> College of Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences. Hass consists of four schools The Wee Kim Wee School of Communication and Information is a school of communication studies and offers courses in journalism, broadcast, advertising, communication policy and information studies. It originally established in 1992 and it was named after Singapore's former president Wee Kim Wee in 1995. The School of Art, Design and Media is Singapore's first professional art school and offers an undergraduate programs in art, design, and media, as well as graduate degrees in arts research. Its building, which features a sloping grassy roof surrounding a central courtyard, is frequently featured in NTU's promotional materials. The School of Humanities which offers programs in a wide variety of fields including Chinese, English literature, history, linguistics and philosophy. The School of Social Sciences which offers economics, psychology, public policy and sociology. Topic: <laughs> College of Engineering The College of Engineering is NTU's largest subdivision. It is claimed to be the world's largest engineering college, with a student population of more than 10,500 undergraduates and 3,500 graduates. It consists of six schools chemical and biomedical, civil and environmental, computer science and engineering, electrical and electronic, materials science, mechanical and aerospace focused on technology and innovation. The college offers a rich array of multidisciplinary programs and specializations in traditional engineering disciplines and beyond. In addition to the 12 single degree programs, the college also offers double degrees, double majors and integrated programs as well as the only aerospace engineering program in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> college of Science Today, the college consists of three schools and is home to about 150 faculty members more than 15 of which are Singapore National Research Foundation Fellows, 340 research staff, 110 administrative and technical staff, 4,000 undergraduate and 750 graduate students. The School of Biological Sciences was established in 2002 and offers a variety of programs in the biological sciences and also a unique and innovative, East Meets West, double degree program in biomedical sciences and traditional Chinese medicine with the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine in China. Students may also pursue a second major in food science and technology to gain understanding about food processes with an engineering and industrial point of view. The School of Physical and Mathematical Sciences was established in 2005 and offers various disciplines in physics, chemistry, mathematics. Students also have the choice of several multidisciplinary programs such as chemistry and biological chemistry with a second major in food science and technology and or with optional concentrations in current topics such as green chemistry and nanotechnology, physics with a second major in mathematical sciences and the combined major in mathematics and economics. The Asian School of the Environment is a new interdisciplinary school established in 2015 to focus on Asian environmental challenges, integrating earth systems, environmental life sciences, ecology, and the social sciences to address key issues of the environment and sustainability. 
Strong interdisciplinary links between ASE and the Singapore Centre on Environmental Life Sciences Engineering SCELSE, the Earth Observatory of Singapore EOS, and the Complexity Institute provide a community for tackling large research questions. Topic: Li Kong Chian School of Medicine. The Li Kong Chian School of Medicine was established in 2013 in collaboration with Imperial College London. Prior to its opening in 2013, the school received record donations of $400 million, including $150 million from the Li Foundation. The school's primary clinical partner is the National Health Care Group. Topic: Interdisciplinary Graduate School. NTU's Interdisciplinary Graduate School focuses on the key research areas within NTU's peaks of excellence in sustainable earth, new media and future healthcare. Research in these areas span across different disciplines beyond the conventional school-based programs. IGS leverages on professors from all the schools and colleges in NTU to undertake interdisciplinary research and to act as advisors for IGS PhD students. Topic Autonomous Institutes NTU hosts a number of autonomous research and educational institutes. The National Institute of Education NI, occupying 16 hectares 0.16 square kilometers, 40 acres in the western part of NTU's Yunnan Garden Campus, is Singapore's main teaching college and is run in close collaboration with Singapore's Ministry of Education. Full-time teachers in Singapore's public schools are typically required to complete a postgraduate diploma course at NI, sponsored by Singapore's Ministry of Education. NI is also internationally acclaimed and provides educational consultancy to countries from Indonesia to UAE. The S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies RSIS, named after Singapore's former Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Foreign Affairs, offers graduate programs in international relations and is an autonomous graduate institution of NTU. The school has the Institute of Defense and Strategic Studies, long recognized as a world authority on strategic studies and terrorism. RSIS was ranked second among university-affiliated think tanks in Asia in the 2011 Global Go to Think Tank rankings. The Singapore Centre on Environmental Life Sciences Engineering SCELSE, is a unique interdisciplinary research centre of excellence RCE, funded by National Research Foundation, Singapore Ministry of Education, Nanyang Technological University and National University of Singapore. Hosted by the NTU in partnership with NUS, SCELSE is linking new insights from the life sciences with expertise from the emerging technologies in engineering and natural sciences to understand, harness and control microbial biofilm communities. The union of these fields has established a new discipline of environmental life sciences engineering. The Earth Observatory of Singapore EOS is an autonomous research institute specializing in earth sciences and conducts fundamental research on earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis and climate change in and around Southeast Asia, towards safer and more sustainable societies. Topic: <laughs> Clubs and Communities. Currently, there are more than 100 student organizations in NTU.
Topic University rankings QS World University Rankings NTU has been ranked 11th in the world and 1st in Asia in the latest 2018 QS World University Rankings. The QS Asia University Rankings 2018 ranked NTU 1st in Asia, displacing NUS which dropped to 2nd place. NTU also came in overall first in the world in the ranking of young universities for four consecutive years in the QS Top 50 Under 50 rankings from 2015 to 2018. In 2011, NTU became the first university in Asia to receive the maximum five stars under the QS Stars Evaluation System, and the only one in Singapore to date. QS World University Rankings by Broad Subject Area and Specific Subject In 2017, NTU's Engineering and Technology was ranked fourth in the world and first in Asia by the QS World University Rankings by Broad Subject Area, Engineering and Technology 2017. NTU also has a research citation that is among the top four in the world, with its research output being ranked among the top three universities globally in engineering by Essential Science Indicators of Thomson Reuters. In the 2017 QS World University Rankings by Broad Subject Area, NTU is ranked 22nd in the world for social sciences and management for three consecutive years. Social sciences and management includes the Wee Kim Wee School of Communication and Information, National Institute of Education, Nanyang Business School, and School of Social Sciences. In the field of natural sciences, NTU's College of Science is ranked 17th in the world, a drop of two places from the previous year, while Arts and Humanities consisting of the School of Humanities and School of Art, Design and Media is ranked 51st globally, a drop of six places from the previous year. In the 2017 QS World University Rankings by Subjects published, NTU had 19 subjects in the world's top 50, with two subjects in the global top 10. It also came in first in Asia for Materials Science and Electronic Engineering. Times Higher Education World University Rankings NTU is ranked fourth in Asia in the Times Higher Education Asia University Rankings 2017, a drop of two places from the previous year. In 2017, NTU rose to 52nd position worldwide in the Times Higher Education World University Rankings with strong scores in all the categories measured, particularly for research, citations, international outlook as well as industry income and innovation. As a result, NTU rocketed a total of 122 places since 2011 in the The Rankings. NTU is also ranked third best among the global young universities under 50 years old, a drop of one place from the previous year. Academic ranking of world universities and other rankings independently. The 2017 Academic Ranking of World Universities, published by the Shanghai Ranking Consultancy that ranks universities' research performance and places a high weightage on the number of Nobel Prizes and fields. Fields medals won by a university's alumni and faculty placed NTU 115th worldwide and second in Singapore. NTU President Bertil Anderson had voiced out in 2015 that the ARWU ranking methodology is inherently biased against young universities like NTU. Nevertheless, in the same ranking, ARWU places NTU's engineering faculty at number two in the world. NTU's Nanyang Business School is Singapore's top business school, having ranked 24th worldwide in the 2017 Financial Times Global MBA rankings. 
For the 13th straight year, Nanyang Business School has been ranked the best in Singapore by The Economist. Also, NBS is placed 10th worldwide in the Financial Times FT rankings of the world's top 100 executive MBA, e -MBA programs. Accounting research at NBS is rated 7th in the world and remained number 1 in Asia by the Brigham Young University BYU accounting research rankings released in April 2014. NTU professor Tan Hun Tong is currently the world's top accounting researcher for the third year running while Professor Clive Lennox is ranked 7th in the world and 2nd in Asia. Notably, Professor Vijay Sethi was voted the world's best business professor as the sole recipient of the prestigious Business Professor of the Year Award from the Economist Intelligence Unit (EIU) in March 2013, beating top business professors from Harvard Business School, Wharton Business School, and London Business School. The S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies has been ranked second among university affiliates think tanks in Asia and 22nd internationally. Notable alumni Public service and civil society Topic International Major Agus Harimurti Yudhoyono, Indonesian National Armed Forces, Chief of Operations in Kostrad, son of Susilo Bombang Yudhoyono Gen. Tito Carnavian, Indonesian National Police, former head of Detachment 88, elite anti-terror group in Indonesian Police former head of Jakarta Regional Police Division, now head of Indonesian National Police. Singapore Topic People's Action Party Ang Mong Seng, former MP Intan Azura Mokhtar, MP, Assistant Professor at National Institute of Education Li Bi Hua, MP Lo Yen Ling, MP, Parliamentary Secretary Masagos Zulkifli, MP, Minister for Environment and Water Resources Sim An, MP, Minister of State Inderjit Singh, Former MP Teo Esser Luck, MP, Mayor and Minister of State Yu Fu Yi Shun, Former MP and Minister of State Zaki Muhammad, MP. Topic: Workers' Party of Singapore. Gerald G M Yin Song, NCMP. Lo Thia Kiong, MP, Secretary General of the Workers' Party of Singapore Yi Zhen Zhang, NCMP Singapore Democratic Party Chiu Chai Chen, former MP, now member of the National Solidarity Party Topic: National Solidarity Party. Sebastian Teo Kui Huang, President of the National Solidarity Party. Topic: Business and Technology. Tan Chin Wei, CEO of Trafagora. Chad Meng Tan, Jolly Good Fellow, Google Inc. Polkit Jaiswal, award winning serial entrepreneur known for his work in the field of unmanned aerial vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> Academia and research 
Yu Kuang Ng, Albert Winsomous Professor of Economics at NTU and Emeritus Professor in Department of Economics, Monash University. Topic: Arts and Humanities. Ho Ho Ying, Abstract Artist. Liang Wern Fuk, Composer, Poet and Essayist. Zihan Lu, Film Director, Actor, Dancer. Topic: Media and Entertainment. Annette Lee, actress, writer, singer-songwriter Vinci Chan, cantopop singer Lee Tang, television host Ng Wei, actress Rui N, actress Joanne Peh, actress Michelle Sarum, actress Diana Esser, journalist, former Channel News Asia news presenter, actress, host Stephanie Sun, singer Alan Turn, actor Jerry Yeo, actor Zhu Zhijiang, graphic designer, animator Yui, actress, television host Ling Kai, singer-songwriter Boon Wei Lu, singer-songwriter Sports Dipna Lim Prasad, national hurdler C. Kunalan, former national sportsman, an educator at the National Institute of Education Calvin Kong Li Long, national sprinter Lee Wung Yu, multiple SEA Games gold medalist in shooting. Topic: Notable faculty. Topic: Medicine, Science and Engineering. Bertil Anderson, Biochemistry Freddie Bowie, Materials Engineering Balaj Gulyas, Neuroscience Philip Ingham, Zebrafish Models for Human Diseases Christopher G. Newhall, Volcanologist, Co-Creator of the Volcanic Explosivity Index Daniela Rhodes, Structural and Molecular Biology Carrie C. Geology and Seismology Rudolf A. Marcus, Nobel Laureate in Chemistry 1992 Humanities and Social Sciences Grace Chia, Literature Liang Wern Fuk, Chinese Studies, Mandopop singer-songwriter, Xinyao pioneer Nadia Magnenat Thalman, Computer Graphics Business and Technology Vijay Sethi, First Economist Intelligence Unit Business Professor of the Year Topic: We Kim We School of Communication and Information. Joseph Walther, communication theorist. Richard Ling, Social Consequences of Mobile Communication. Topic: S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies. Farish A. Noor, political scientist and historian. Topic controversies and incidents. Topic renaming controversy. 
Although NTU occupies the grounds of the former Nanyang University NU, and has a similar name, it is not a direct continuation of that institution. In 1980, the government of Singapore forcibly merged Nanyang University with the University of Singapore to form the present-day National University of Singapore NUS. This was a source of significant discontent amongst new students and alumni, because NU had been a Chinese medium university, whereas the newly merged NUS was and is an English medium university. As NTU subsequently grew into a full university, various efforts were made to have it claim the Nanyang University mantle. In 1996, the alumni roles of Nanyang University were transferred from NUS to NTU. In 1998, the prominent local calligrapher and poet Pan Shou, who had been the first vice-chancellor of Nanyang University, called for NTU to be renamed Nanyang University, as a way to quieten the hearts of many new alumni. In 2003, this idea received further support from NTU President Su Guaning, during an interview with the Chinese-language paper Lian He Zhaobao. One reason offered for the renaming was that, by the mid-2000s, NTU no longer had a narrow focus on technical subjects, but had become a full university including studies in the humanities. However, the NTU administration's renaming plans soon encountered significant pushback. One new alumni, Zhu Yang'an, circulated the results of a straw poll in which new alumni came out strongly against the idea. Respondents complained that NTU could not provide continuity for the murdered Nanyang University. Finally, after Prime Minister Li Xianlong weighed in on the affair, the administration dropped the idea quietly in 2006 and has not raised it since. <laughs> Tenural denial to Cherry and George In 2013, there was a debate over academic freedom in Singapore when Associate Professor Cherian George, an outspoken academic at the Wee Kim Wee School of Communications who had publicly criticised Singapore's system of media control and its ruling People's Action Party, did not get tenured. Although George had been recommended for tenure by the Wee Kim Wee School, his application was turned down by a university-level committee which included representatives from the Government of Singapore. One of the reviewers for the tenure case, Cardiff University's Professor Karen Wall Jorgensen, expressed outrage at NTU's decision, and George's thesis advisor, Stanford University's Theodore Glasser, raised doubts about NTU's reputation as a university of international standing and NTU's commitment to academic freedom. Despite a petition against the tenure decision by students at the Wee Kim Wee School, George's appeal against the tenure decision was subsequently rejected by the university. See also Nanyang University